time for a word and prayer with Pastor Lonnie. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Facebook family and friends. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Um, had an opportunity to uh, be with you guys. It was by choice. Um, but I want to come on this morning and um, just pray in a season where uh, we are forced to uh, use technology to um, gather together and host our events um, in this time. I just wanted to come together and um, just say a prayer this morning as we get ready to prepare for worship. Um, I pray that you guys will join us on our kingdom page this morning at 10 o'clock for our um, worship service and um, to hear the word. The word of God will not stop. It's going to keep going forward and it's going to accomplish what he sent it forth to do. Um, what an exciting season, even in the midst of panic, because it's an opportunity for God to do some of his greatest work um, in these crises and these situations is where God uh, is best. And so um, I just want to lift, look to him this morning before um, we start our online Sunday schools and online Bible studies and online worship services. Um, and so uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning in California. I pray that you guys are calm out there and um, trusting God and believing that uh, he's in control of all of this as we are smart and washing our hands and sanitizing and praying uh, uh, I pray that everything is well. Well, morning, Roxana. How are you this morning? Um, and all it takes, y'all know, two, three together, and there's three of us. So I just want to say a small prayer this morning as we prepare to worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I bless you, Lord, for you are an awesome and wonderful God. Father, we bless you that in times like this, um, Lord, we looked our eyes to the hills knowing that you are where our help comes from we don't put our trust in man we don't put our trust in princes but all of our trust relies in you oh god in this season lord we are stretching our faith trusting and believing for your protection for your guidance for your covering oh god we are trusting and believing for your provision oh lord and Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for this new day filled with new mercy and, and your grace, oh God. And Lord, we'll just stop. And first I ask that you would forgive us of our sin that we've committed knowingly and unknowingly, oh God, before we can ask you for anything, oh God. We thank you for everything. We need cleansing, oh God, in this season, in our land, oh God. So many are hopeless, so many in despair. There's greed. Oh, God, there's so much going on. Men are lovers of themselves. We are definitely living in the last days. And, Father, you said in Romans 8 that this is where the um, the earth and the, 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 the creation groans waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Well, God, we are sitting and waiting for us to, uh, that you would reveal yourself through us. challenging times oh god we lift up our loved ones family and friends near and far oh god we lift up medical professionals oh god police officers firefighters emergency responders we lift up grocery store attendants oh god gas station attendants those that doing the work that needs to be done in this season oh god to help people get through, to help people get by. We plead a blood covering a protection over their bodies, oh God. Boost their immune systems in the name of Jesus. Give them wisdom to take their vitamins, oh God. And wear gloves and masks and take the necessary precautions to protect themselves and to protect their families, oh God. As they are standing in the front line, oh God, um, serving others. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would continue to keep your hand upon them, provide every need that they might have. Lord, I lift those to you that are without shelter right now, oh God, that are exposed to all of the elements, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, not guaranteed four to six feet, oh God, because they don't um, have uh, proper shelter. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus that you would cover them, oh God, that you would 
Put a hedge of protection around them and keep them safe, oh God. I pray for every shelter, oh God. Every place that is housing people that are homeless or transient, oh God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would give them wisdom. I pray that they are operating um, wise strategies on cleaning, oh God. And doing, taking the appropriate measures, Lord. Not just to get a dollar to house people in the season, oh God. But to take the appropriate measures to protect and to keep people. Lord, we just thank you this morning. Uh, and as we prepare for your word to go forth on the many different platforms that are out there today, oh God, I lift up every house of worship. I lift up every pastor that will be bringing forth a word, every minister, every preacher, oh God. And I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as your word goes forth today, it goes forth with power and it goes forth with clarity. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you direct your word exactly where it needs to go, oh God, with pre precision, Oh God, and, and hit that target right on. I pray that hearts are pierced, oh God, and that they are drawn back to you in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that as the word comes forth, oh God, it will plant seeds, oh God, hallelujah, of hope, Lord, and uproot depression and despair in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that as your word goes forth, it will do what you sent it forth to do and accomplish that which you sent it to do. I thank you, oh God, for souls being saved. I thank you for God, for our repentant hearts. God, I thank you, God, for the renouncing of sin, oh God. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, as somebody today will look to you that has never looked to you before. God, there's an atheist that's going to turn to you today, oh God. Father, there's a there's a wayward child, oh God, that's going to come home to you today, oh God. Hallelujah. There's an, there's an addicted person, oh God, who is breaking up with addiction to uh, develop intimacy with you today, oh God. Lord, I just thank you and I still believe that you are God all by yourself and you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And so I ask that you would have your way. Lord, I bless you and I glorify you. Now take us deeper in you, O oh God, as we prepare to hear your word. This is my prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I love you guys. About to get ready to jump off of my first class at 745. I pray that everybody gets what they need today. And I promise you I'll be back soon. God bless you.